what's going on everybody welcome to the channel today I want to share with you guys how to grow your pomegranate in a clay soil environment so I live in Northern Virginia zone 7 and I have a Russian pomegranate that I'm going to plant when I first move into the house my first fruit tree is actually the pomegranate tree because I want to grow some tropical fruit tree and um, I was looking for a cold hardy fruit tree to grow and I bought this tiny um, bare root pomegranate on eBay and it is a Russian Salavatsky and now I have a big mature pomegranate that I split it into multiple tree to produce more pomegranate for myself because I love pomegranate who doesn't so a lot of people would ask is like when is best time to grow your pomegranate um, when I got my first pomegranate it was this small right um, I babysit it a lot because I was skeptical um, it would not survive outside so I put it in a five gallon pot and let it grow for the first or uh, two season and then after that once it matured really big um, the trunk was more mature and more established then I put it in the ground but because back then I just started out I didn't know any better and how well this thing can uh, withstand the cold so the Russian pomegranate can withstand the cold down to zone 7 and 6 and within zone 6 you will need some protection so when you got your pomegranate tree right um, the best time to plant this is actually in spring um, to put down in the ground why is that because like every fruit tree right you give it that whole season to establish the root system and then for it to grow so the pomegranate grow actually pretty fast once you put them in the ground with a decent soil and they deal with clay soil pretty well as well here in this video I will show you the whole complete guide how I plant my pomegranate and take care of it to have a successful fruit like this for those who like bought a pomegranate late summer I would recommend to put it into a bigger pot so that way it will continue to grow and that in the next spring uh, the next season you can put it in the ground directly and because you spent so much money on a tiny tree you don't want to um, have a chance of accidentally killing it with the first winter and for those who like is afraid that you might kill your pomegranate and they may not survive your winter I recommend that you plant them against a wall that has a lot of sun in the winter and that's what I did with my pomegranate before I split them up I plant it against the wall with that way um, it is protected in the winter and it have that radiant heat from the house to uh, keep the tree uh, alive all right now let's start digging and plant the pomegranate tree pomegranate love the sun so find a sunny area to plant it you're gonna be whether it's a this small one you want to get rid of all the grass or the sod like at least two feet in diameter right so this way you get rid of the grass so it doesn't compete with the tree you guys see that it's all red clay So if you guys have this, have a small pomegranate tree like this, um, this diameter is good enough. But I myself, I like to make it bigger. So this is almost two feet already, but just take out a little bit more. Once you have the diameter of the hole work out, you just want to dig it down. The next step is that you want to get a 
garden soil. So this is what I use. Um, I buy this in bulk in spring when the price is like half price. It's like $2 a bag. So I got in bulk every spring so that way if I plant any uh, fruit tree, I have it on the side. So, all right, so the next step is that you want to pour this in the hole. So now you got to mix it up. All right. And then once you're done, just make a hole again. So that way you can put in your plant. All right, so now you want to take your plant and pop, pop it out. Yes, see? And then just put it in. Align it. Then take the small plant as well. Right here. Put it in. And put next to it. And then what you do is that you pour the rest of the good dirt in. On top like that all right if you have compost throw some compost in if you don't have compost throw in some fertilizer all right and then mix it up and then so now that you got all mixed up, start covering it up with some native clay soil, like so. And then put the rest of the garden soil in. And then fill it up with some clay soil more. So, and if you want to be sure, you make up with some uh, fertilizer on top with the clay soil. So because I'm up on the hill, I want to make a small trench like this, so when I water, the water doesn't run off. It's going to stay in there and soak it down. Now what you do is you're gonna get a stick stick it down so your plant will stand up straight because the way the pomegranate grow is that the new the new shoot is very uh, bendy and they're gonna flip all over the place. Alright, so the next step you want to do is get a, a water hose and hose it down. Make sure to soak this, so that way the water will seep down, all the way down. Now, so I got my pomegranate tree into the ground number one thing that is important for this tree to thrive in the long term is mulching. So mulching helps retain the water and also it will break down over time and become the natural compost. So just give this thing like around like two inches thick a mulch. It depends how mature your plant is. So like this small plant right here, you don't want to like choke it. Maybe give it like a an inch thick layer. As it grows bigger, you can increase the thickness of the mulch.
So after you mulch it, you want to water it again to have that uh, second layer of moisture within the mulch to retain it. All right, so now let's talk about how do you care for your pomegranate once you put them in the ground. So with myself, right, uh, my first season is that I water them daily and I will fertilize them like once a few months. Um, so that way to give it extra boost to have all the green and all the growth going to the trunk. All right, so let's talk about pruning and caring for your pomegranate. I mean, ideally, um, you would want to clear out all this like sucker that shoot up in the center and have that like open ventilation like any fruit tree but in my case I want like a luscious boost of green and I don't really prune them a lot another note you want to take is that pomegranate push out um, fruit and flowers on the previous year so if you prune it too much um, you will not get a lot of flowers or fruit and so just be careful how much you prune it back and if you prune it so much back it will have to spend all this energy and try to regrow a new shoot and try to establish it back on next season and you're gonna miss out on this season from flowerings and fruit so just be careful with that if you want to keep your pomegranate in a tree form uh, then prune the sucker out and then um, prune all the shoot on the side and then make it into a tree form. So now let's talk about fruits and flowering. Um, when can you expect your pomegranate to start pushing out in fruits when you put it in the ground? So if you have a clone a grafted pomegranate or a propagated pomegranate, usually it will start pushing out on the second years, the flower will start to form and then um, it will drop a lot from my experience. And um, that's number one because of that it's like usually like many fruit trees, it's like pushing out to test it to see um, if the tree can handle it. So, but if you want a pomegranate on the second years, um, try to hand pollinate it. If you have a better success on like having a fruit set. And it's also depend on your luck as well. So if you have a tree that start pushing out flower in the first year, you can hand pollinate it and have a fruit on it. So when the tree is flower, so how can you distinguish between the different flowers between male and females usually when it start to flower right you will start to see a flower that is really elongated and um, it's kind of plump the fruiting flower is actually look like a peanut shape uh, when you start the bud flower starting to form and that is the flower that will start to bear fruit if it's pollinated properly and the rest of all the flower is really like um, kind of like a cone shape um, and that is a flower that just like a pollinator flower. It doesn't produce any fruit at all. And you don't need two pomegranate trees to cross pollinate because this is self pollinate uh, tree and you only need one. So, but if you want a lot of pomegranate, then I recommend to have at least two trees. Usually, the second and third, fourth years, it's only push out like around like three or four pomegranate. Uh, but then after the fifth years, it will start pushing out a lot like close to 10 and then after that it will increase and if you have two trees you have more chance of having more fruit because it's double the production okay so now let's talk about the fruit of the pomegranate and the color so as you can see here the color here is like a light red and mixture of green and um, when the flower start to set and the fruit start to form um, it is like a dark velvet red and then eventually over time it start to um, line up and turn green so the fruit turn green when it's small and then over time it will start to have some pink red in it so when the fruit start to ripen it will have a light pinkish color to the fruit and usually the size of this fruit is like um, big as an apple or bigger than an apple so the largest one I have had in the past year is almost big as a four inches diameter so now let's talk about the taste for the russian pomegranate salavaski um, from my experience is that the second years and the third years the sweetness is really mild and there's a lot of tart a bit of tart and um, it's a little bit sour so uh, when i 
first tasted it, I was like, oh man, this thing is pretty sour and I didn't like it. And I was skeptical and debating whether I want to keep the tree or not, or should I throw it away and all that. But then after the fifth year and the fourth year is that the, the tree is more mature and the sugar content is pushing in into the fruit and it was actually really really sweet so now I learned to really like it and another thing I want to mention is that the seed is really hard uh, I mean it's not really hard it's just like a hard seed but you can still chew it and eat it it's not as a soft seed like pomegranate like the wonderful pomegranate so just be patient and wait if your pomegranate is a little bit tart uh, give it another year or two the fruit uh, will start to be more sweeter over time. So now let's talk about pest control with the uh, pomegranate tree. Are there any pests for this tree? Um, from my experience, there is not really a lot of pests um, that bother the pomegranate tree. Even the deer doesn't even bother it. Um, the deer don't even want to try to eat it or anything. And sometimes you will see there is like um, a fruit that got bitten and got rotten like this. So it's bound to happen but um, in general this thing is pretty uh, pest resistant and I have a lot of success on it and in the past I would have like a few rotten like immature pomegranate like this and it would just fall off the ground alright guys so this pretty much is my simple cheap method of how to plant my pomegranate in clay soil and this method is already proven for me and it works for me and I know there's other methods out there and a lot of people use different methods. I'm going to show you guys what my current pomegranate tree looks like and how well is it doing. Right okay now. so let's start with the first pomegranate over here. So if you guys watch the video then you guys would remember I have four pomegranate tree that I split from one tree and for some reason one of the tree was not doing well. I think the shock was pretty severe so it's kind of died. Uh, I think it died, but we'll see. I'm just going to leave it to see if there's anything sprout back. So you see here the main trunk, it's kind of dead. And uh, so, and then I topped it off. And these are not new growth. These are other, other cutting propagation that I put it in. Also, I planted um, a wonderful seedling in here as well to see how it's going to do over the winter. And as you can see here, this is a small pomegranate tree. This is actually a cutting um, and when I planted it there wasn't any flower and then it bloomed uh, the flower bloomed and I pollinated it and uh, I managed to get a fruit out of it so that's pretty cool and then over here is a second tree and this tree is doing really well as you can see the diameter down here I didn't they get big enough and you can see, and you can see that the grasses are kind of creeping in and I need to mulch this and clean this up the next season. You can see that it's putting out new growth right here on the bottom. See? And you have one fruit, two fruit. So it's doing pretty well for this one. And the third tree is doing even better you know new growth is coming out still a little flower pushing out and more fruit on this side one two three four five six seven so seven fruit set over here and this is getting pretty big too and then the fourth tree is over here this thing is like kind of exceed my expectation. I pretty much did not expect any of these trees to push out any fruit this year because I split them up and I was expecting a shock and they would just would not pushing any fruit out. But here they are. This tree is like have so many fruit I don't know how much they have. Like I think more than 10 fruit. Like up there is three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, geez, 16, 17, like almost 20 fruits.
So, as you can see, it is doing exceptionally well. And um, it's also pushing out new growth as well, but not as much as the other one. Um, so this fourth tree. So, it is September right now. And um, usually this thing ripe is in October. Um, and then the rains will come in November. And if it got too much rain, then the fruit will crack. And that's when I start coming out, start picking them. So right now, this like this one is big, almost a palm of my hand right now. So I hope that um, it will get more growth in for the next month or so. And over this corner is another pomegranate of mine. And this one is four to five years old. And it's looking lusciously, but because I split one of it out as well, somehow it went into shock and did not push out flowers. And I had to prune it back a lot last year because of the cicada damage. So that could be the combination of the reason as well. But yeah, so this is how a pomegranate would look like maturely. It's kind of like a bush form. And you can train it into a tree by pruning all the all the sucker, all the shoot out here on the bottom and then just keep one or two main trunk here I have like multiple main trunk down here so this is the pomegranate that I gave to my neighbor it's the same clone but somehow this thing is really big and now I want it back <sighs> I was just kidding I was just probably get some cutting this year and keep this uh genetic clone and here is some cantex here's a small apple right here and this pomegranate is ginormous right here big as the palm of my hand and if you guys want a copy of my tree um, just hit me up through email or keep a lookout I'll probably going to start putting up some stuff on Etsy so um, just Keep an eye out on a uh, description. So that is this guy. That is my method of planting pomegranate in clay soil. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button for more video and tips. And follow me on my garden and see when I start harvesting this uh, pomegranate. I'll see you guys later.